Hey, 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 y'all. What's happening? Welcome to our channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch gemini My Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? High vibe cross watcher. Welcome, welcome. I love you. Sending you so much love and healing energy. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay. Uh, keep in mind it's a general message and only take what fits for you and leave the rest, okay? Um, choir, come to the front. Uh, um, one, two, three, oh, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, magic and collective. Check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yay! Okay, let's get into it. This card was not supposed to be in this deck. Okay, the Six of Swords. But Spirit just told me to place it right here. Because this has something to do in this reading. Okay, everything is not a coincidence. Everything means something and everything's a sign of synchronicity. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Ancestors, uh, look, I gotta get to you. Okay, somebody wants to message you. They trying to get to you. This is my Let Us See Got to Get to You card. Shout out to Let Us See. Hey, girl. Um, somebody wants to message you. Okay, from they could live at a distance from you. All this water over here. You have somebody... Possibly a water sign. Doesn't have to be air sign. It could be. Or they want to message you, Gemini. You're not talking to this person right now. You're running away. Okay? You didn't, you look, you didn't, you're running away from this energy. Okay? Maybe because I did see the not for you card. So maybe you're just running away. Whoever's trying to get back to you, you realize that they're not for you. After you've had this transformation. And now you're receiving this treasure island. Or I just feel this is your energy. Your energy is like the treasure island. It's very high vibe. Whoever you are, you're very high vibrational. Okay? Somebody's caught in between worlds right now. They're in they're in a rock and a hard spot, and they're trying to get back to you. Somebody's running away from their problems, okay? They're running from some type of conflict and chaos now. Maybe this person is full of conflict and chaos. They're confused. They don't know what to do. They don't know if they want to go to the light or to the dark. Child and, and the spirits telling this person they're going to have to release something. They're going to have to get emotionally grounded, I'm getting, okay? Because they feel still that they have an unfinished symphony with you, but they're ungrounded. This is a person that you poured your love out to. Like you gave them love and then you just went to the edge and just poured, all, poured it all down the drain at this point. Because this is too much for you to be dealing with. And that... This is what I'm saying. You were doing that before you had some type of spiritual awakening. And then when you had your spiritual awakening, then you left this bitch. Okay? You sure did. You could be 45. 45 could have a significance. Nine, nine, no, number three, 33, 36. But whatever this is, this cycle has been completed. Because 10 is a cycle being of completion. We're right where it's time to go. So this cycle has been caused by God for you to end it because he got tired. Yeah, it was a change in the wind. It's time for you to regenerate, baby. And that's exactly what you did to go co-create with God. You couldn't co-create with this chaos and confusion because let me tell you, God is not an author of confusion or any chaos. Not the upright God. Maybe the lower God is, okay? But, you know, um, you had to come to the edge and release your emotions for this person in order for you to receive this treasure island, honey. Yeah. So now you're able to co-create with God because before you was at a standstill, okay? You were stuck and stagnated in some form or fashion. But this person wants to come back to you because now they're really re they're realizing that you're no place like home. Like, I guess you were comfortable with this person. You guys got along good at one time. This person is looking at you with serendipity, as pure happiness. Yeah, and they want to balance out things with you now. But I want to know what the fuck happened before, spirit, because they got to get to you. Something happened. They done said some shit. I don't know if they spoke too soon. They spoke too quick. They spoke something about sex. Or they spoke something to let you know that they were never going to commit. They said something that laid this whole relationship down to rest. And now it's just a missed opportunity. It's people be able to watch what they fucking say to people. Yeah. And so you, it broke your heart, whatever they said. So you were like, bye, bitch. 
That's when you had your spiritual awakening because whatever was said to you, that's what's also caused you to have a spiritual awakening and, and leave this person behind as they are angry, still feeling like they're not done with you. This unfinished symphony up over here because you my nine of cups. So they possibly drinking heavily and everything all uh, because you're, you, you're, you're here. This is almost the Ten of Pentacles, but not, but it's pretty much is, and it's pretty much the Empress, you know, but almost like one step to get there. And this person's feeling some kind of way that th they feel foolish that they gambled their Empress away, Nine of Pentacles away, okay? And now they're heavily burdened because now they, they, now all y'all doing is fussing and fighting or you don't want shit to do with them or you will fight them if they try to come towards you. And that's a tower to them because they just look at you as so sexy and abundant and just so beautiful and confident. So why did this person do what they did in the first place? Did it, it Gemini high vibe, cross watcher was so sexy, abundant and single and all of that in their flighty, shadowy, conceited ways. What, why do they do what they did spirit? That's what spirit said. Their, their ways. Okay. They did what they did because they too busy being manipulative that they're under judgment right now. This person's under some type of judgment right now where they're kind of, I'm getting a stuck energy, a four of swords energy. They could have got a lot of chaos and conflict around them. And I'm just telling you, God don't play about his angels, okay? When God wants somebody to be with somebody, he meant it. I mean, he ain't going to force you. But if you go the opposite direction and not do what God told your ass to do, he will, he will lay your ass down. Ain't no sense of you doing what you want to do if you ain't going to do what the master wants you to do. So he going to lay your ass down, period. He ain't going to force you, okay? He would like you to use your free will and get on his vibration so you will take a leap of faith and you will be listening to ancestors and the Holy Spirit. You will be getting spiritual downloads so you can See, that's what I'm saying. God won't force you, but he would like you to move a certain way. And if you don't move a certain way and listen to his intuition, then, I mean, you get cut. Pretty much, that's how it go. So, Gemini, you don't want this. You already made up your mind. You intuitively know already, like, no, I don't want to work out anything with this person trying to come towards you. Because they're a fucking liar. Yeah, they lied. They lied about having other lovers. They were have, they were lying about possibly using drugs or be, meeting up with other people in the background. They lied and tried to come off like they were healed and they were you know, really wanting to move forward and give you some type of justice, but this person's unhealed. They can't give you what they promised, okay? They can't. That's why they kept walking away from you to go into these third-party energies because of their toxic-ass, low-vibrational ways. They wanted to keep you chained and stuck, but they were stuck in, uh, to sex and the other third-party energies, y'all. And that's why the will had turned because God is like, okay, my baby ain't gonna keep going through all this shit. You either have a transformation or you don't. If you don't, you gonna end up where, spirit? Where you gonna end up coming to the edge? This person might want to jump. Okay, you're gonna have nothing but conflict and chaos in your life. Thank you, spirit. If you reject the offer that God gave you, if you reject this nine of motherfucking pentacles, because I feel this person wasn't even a two of pentacles or a three. Maybe they was a one, you know, and then your one would have gave them the ten, but they rejected God's offer. So God said, okay, we'll say less then, and that's why they're here at feeling foolish right now. And that's why they're feeling backstabbed and betrayed, okay? Because now you're the Nine of Pentacles, and they're, like, literally struggling to survive good times. Now they want to come back to you and offer you a cup of, I don't know, they're still not committal. I ain't seen Nan King come up here yet, except for the King of Swords, and that was your energy. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this person is nothing but conflict and chaos, and they're a liar, a habitual liar. They're greedy. They want to win at all costs. They don't know how to talk to people. They don't know how to communicate with people. What is this person's problem, spirit? What is this person's problem? They think they're too comp. I don't know. What is their problem? Either women, men, or they're just very confrontational. That's what I'm getting. And they're a heavy burden to themselves, not let alone to other people. Yeah. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Because they're refusing to have some type of transformation, which is keeping them in the hangman mode. But they still want to make this really... I told you they're showing up as a day the page and want to bring their one page to your uh, nine to make it the ten. And they're having a heavy burden doing that. Why are they having such a heavy burden? Because you done ended shit and you done had a transformation. So there's... After you have transformations, there's no going backwards. It's only moving forward. It's only uphill from there. Okay, to, until you get into this treasure island energy. 
definitely. And that's why you are co-creating with God. So you're like literally being divinely led into this treasure island. I don't feel that you're going to go backwards. Um, spirit, what's going to happen if this person trying to come towards Gemini? Because they try to say that they had a spiritual transformation too. And they want to take a leap of faith with you too and get to this treasure island and co-create with you too. So anyway, what do you feel, Spirit? Yeah, they want to marry you. They want your forgiveness. They want to heal. And that's okay. I'm glad this person wants to heal. But Spirit, what do you say, Gemini? Because I really don't feel that you have nothing to do with this healing that they need to do. They need to go in synchronicity with the universe they need to co-create with the universe the universe doesn't stop he keeps moving if god stopped everybody would be dead you know what i mean so god can't i mean he can circle the block again but the, the, the problem is is every time you elevate they uh, every time they elevate or they have some type of spiritual awakening you elevate. So you're always like 10 steps ahead of this person. So you're never going to be on that same frequency. Had they did had they did the work and took that leap of faith and listened to God in the first place, they would have been at your level and you guys would have been in this motherfucking union. But that did not happen. They was wanting to be all up in their arrogancy. But this is an older gentleman, okay, or he would have been the emperor if he would have took that leap of faith and listened to God and the ancestors. But instead, he wanted to leave somebody. He wanted to lay, lay shit to rest and... He didn't want to build. He didn't want to co-create. He didn't see what he didn't see. He didn't see what you were already building or she didn't see what you were already building. Okay. And God was trying to bring you together so you guys can finish up the building together. But no, they wanted to take a leap of faith and reject this offer to the third party energies. That's what they wanted to do. And then they got stuck. And so now they's waiting and waiting and waiting and stuck and like Chuck and just all over, and they just spying on you, just spying and looking and lurking and lurking and looking, honey, talking about, let me make this offer. This is a grown man, though, that acts very childish. I could tell by that arm. You see that arm right there and them legs and shit? So this, or this could be an, a man with Napoleon complex, okay? Child. And now they like, you make me happy and you're my two of cups because they're under judgment. Okay, they don't have God because God's got his foot on their neck. That's why they want to really come back because they chose other. They chose to go forward into this King of Wands energy. Now, the King of Wands is cool, but this is a manipulative King of Wands. Okay, that's confused. It doesn't know which direction they want to take. They're very worldly. I'm getting very worldly and whole like Okay, they want to give you some type of good news, but uh, I don't know what that good news is going to do. Is it gonna? Are you going to stop it? Like, you think this person got secrets still. You don't trust them. You just don't trust them. You forgive them, but you don't trust them, Gemini. Look, look, look. You for, you think this person got secrets. You feel that they are a little slow. They are slow mentally, physically, all of that. Um, You forgive them, but you just don't fuck with them. Okay, that's just what I'm getting from this energy. And they're all emotional and want to have some sex with you to bring you into this so they can get this 10 with you because you at the 9. They think, oh, well, if I come coming in and giving my emotions to this person and Telling them I want a new beginning and have some sex with them because they are these too many wand energies, these baby wands, and they want to give you the 10 with they won, but you're good without them after the fact that they put you in a third party. So this person really ain't gotten too much to offer you to change your life. And this is a tower to this person because you don't want to be with them no more. And that is your justice. Okay, stay on your ground, babies. Yes. And they are feeling like the wounded, busted, disgusted warrior. And it is what it is. And that's because you don't walk away. And then here we go, karma. I love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And here. Yeah, yeah. So this is, God's going to make sure they have a transformation. While they coming up here lying, talking about, I didn't have a transformation. And I'm going to check out. Like God said, okay, we're going to make sure that you did that shit. This could be another air sign such as yourself, but God going to make sure this air sign, whoever this is, is balanced out, temperance, and they really heal while they playing with it and shit like that. So what's the outcome, Spirit? Because I feel like you done and you done walked away over here already to get your justice and step into your emperor energy. You done came to the edge and released this person so you can co-create. So you're learning how the energy works when people stagnated you know, playing games, holding you back that are in your life and you keep holding on to them, um, you know that slows you down. So you're learning the way of God of you being upright and doing the right thing and cutting out people, places, and things, even if it hurts you. That's how you get these level ups because everybody can't cut off. Their cut off game's not tight. But high vibe Gemini, your shit is like a sword. Your shit is cut. 
to the point where it's des it's deadly. Mm, damn, Gemini. But that's necessary for you to balance out your life and balance out those energies. That's a beautiful thing. So you're learning. You're actually going through your spiritual ascension. And God is leading you into this treasure island alone and by yourself or possibly with another soulmate energy. But it's just not with this energy from the past that's struggling to try to get back to you because they're going through something, Gemini, okay? Things are ended in their life, okay? Yeah, and they're stressed out about it. So, but that's not your problem, lovey. Yeah, they're stressed out how you're healing and you're balanced. And, like, I never thought that you would get balanced and shit. This person might be, mm. So, what's the outcome, Holy Spirit? What is this situation? The outcome for Gemini high vibe is what? You moving forward. That's what I'm talking about. Look, full steam ahead, baby. Full steam ahead. Standing your ground and speaking your damn truth while you leaving somebody out in the cold. And what is this behind? Yeah. You're not going to invest in this person. You're going to leave it out in the cold. They don't. They haven't leveled up enough mentally, physically, and financially. So it's just a missed opportunity, and this person is just going to be in regret. Having nostalgic memories and feel, feelings. They're going to have memories and things of that. That's just where we at with that. There's nothing you can do, baby. You just move on to get your justice. Okay, honey, I love you. Hope you have a right, amazing rest of your day, and we'll talk soon. Bye.